you click on this video because you want to know what are the best color settings for either when you're gaming live streaming and you want to know how to set that up especially for like obs or on your elgato capture card or if you're just gaming and you want to set it up on your nvidia graphics card i can show you guys how to do that it's very simple very easy if you want to change up the way your gameplay looks and not make it look so flat and make it look like this and you want to turn it into this i'm going to show you guys how to do that let's go through all the settings i'm going to show you how to do it let's get to it and hope you guys enjoy this video if you have a nvidia graphics card this step is for you just go into the control panel you're going to want to go to adjust desktop color setting you're going to come in here you're going to click um the monitor that you're going to be using so i have two monitors i click hd60 because it's the monitor that i'm recording on right now it's a really simple step you go to digital vibrance and you're going to set that bad boy up to 80. now the problem with this is can't seem to find a workaround i was trying to do a lot of research on this and i couldn't find it if anybody in the comments down below will help me out with this i would greatly appreciate it but i couldn't figure out anything for this this setting right here is strictly if you're like a gamer if you just want to have this monitor with like nice colored settings and you want a game and you're not streaming or recording or nothing you just want to have fun and play games and have like a nice color to it this is your setup for some reason when you change this to like the color setting in the recording and like if i'm live streaming it won't show the color on the screen i don't know why i, I don't know if there's a setting here on nvidia that can change that as you can see right now it's not even vibrant it's still the same color it's only for like if you're just going to look at the screen and you just want to see the colors now we're going to go into the actual game a lot of games on steam will allow you to fix these colors nvidia has a section where like this little bar will pop up i don't know if you would see it when you start up a game something that'll show like nvidia settings or whatever on the top right corner let me just get into like a setting real quick so we're playing genshin impact it's a game that i play on stream all the time you can check me out on twitch.tv slash little pixel quick little plug right there but we're here to help you make the colors look better so here the colors are a little flat you can tell it's a little gray the colors are there but they can pop up a lot more when you're streaming so there's a way to do that in this setting when it, when you see it you'll see alt z and it's going to take you to the section where it says game filter right you can actually save them but for the most part sometimes it erases so what i suggest doing is taking a picture of it for yourself and keep it on your phone save it as a favorite so then when it goes away have it ready to go and you can just put the numbers in but i'll do something even better for you i'm going to give you all the settings i'm going to give you these filters in my discord there's going to be a free download section in the description down below if you want to download it for free you can i don't want to go through all the settings because it's a lot so this is what it's going to look like after i'm going to click a button boom look at that it looks honestly it looks 20 times better you can tell the difference oh my god like it just looks a lot more lively if i do say so myself i'm going to go into the settings here where all my characters are at you can tell it's way more saturated it's really really nice and it looks cool and a lot of people have compliments on me on my stream i don't know if you guys in the comments down below let me know if it looks better or not the big downside to this sometimes it can mess with the performance of your game sometimes you can drop frames but from the research i've done that's one of the cons if you take this off things will run a lot smoother because i guess it's not encoding so much of the colors that you're putting let me know what you guys think i think it's a really cool option let's just say you don't have a graphics card right and you want to mess with the settings in your elgato capture card there's a really simple way to do that you can go into the settings cogwheel on the top right right here and where it says picture i don't like to put too much because it's going to start looking a little kind of weird i think the saturation on eight is like the sweet spot you can mess with some contrast settings it's going to be a little bright i leave that at zero i don't like to mess around with that too much i put it up to eight for your capture card it actually looks pretty good okay so let's just say you don't have a graphics card and you don't want to mess with the settings in your capture card and let's just say you're using obs for this right what you can do you could go into your actual obs settings and you can pick a source let's just say either your display capture your capture card between those two things you can add filters the filters that i personally like to use is a color correction filter and a color grading filter the only downside to this method if you're going to use the filters on top of a source you're not going to be able to see the colors unless you use the first method and you use both then you could do that if you're looking at the monitor yourself you're not going to see the colors but it will be in your stream and it will be on your recordings if i put the color settings right here you're going to see it's a little bit darker toned um as you can see as my background is a little bit more better i'll do another example this is how it looked kind of like flat right and then here it is like all like nicely saturated right it looks a lot better it does look cooler the settings are not really that complicated i'll put these um filters in my free downloads link as well just in case if you want to download them for free or just copy pasta them and yeah there you guys have it they're 
goes the full tutorial on how to get better color for either your gaming, live streaming, or even recordings, you know? I hope this brings a lot of value to you guys and I hope it spices up your stream. But let me know in the comments below if I missed anything or if you have a suggestion or something in this tutorial that you can maybe fix, definitely comment it. And also guys, don't forget to check out these two videos right here. The first video is how to have the best resolution for your Twitch stream. So 936p is obviously the best. If you wanna know how to set that up, check out that video. And also if you just got a cam link and you don't know how to set it up for your live streams also, go through some settings there to show you really simple steps and very easy, very short video too. So definitely check out those videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.